Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., all rights reserved. Welcome back. 17 till. I'm Jim Blassingame. Thank you very much for staying with me. Thanks for hanging out with me. You're listening to the Small Business Advocate Show. We're celebrating 15 years of our show, and uh, we're doing that with our Brain Trust members who've been with us the longest. All of these folks this week, except for one or two, are have been with us since '98, within the first year of being on the on the on the air. Barbara Weltman is a perfect example of that. She's the author of J.K. Lasser's Small Business Taxes. 2012, 2013 is just now out. We're talking about some of the things you need to be focusing on in the in the with the new administration, with the new uh, with with tax Mageddon and the, and the fiscal cliff coming at us. Barbara, what are some other things that we need to be know, we need to know about? Well, in this um, uh, flurry of uh, interest in in these uh, dramatic tax changes, I think we shouldn't overlook. Some of the basic things that are still around that we could take advantage of. I, I mean, it, for example, let's say this has been a good um, year for you, and, and you're, you know you've been profitable. Well, maybe this is the time to invest in equipment, buy that new iPad or, or computer, because mm-hmm. um, you can write off up to one hundred and thirty-nine thousand dollars in as an ex- expense it rather than have to depreciate right. the cost over a number of years. That's one of those basic rules. It's been around, but people may overlook it. A- a- another thing is just to set up a qualified retirement plan. Maybe you want to have a profit-sharing plan or a SEP plan or w- whatever. It- it's not too late to take action for this year and uh, shelter some of your income. All right. All right. What about uh, what about some business decisions? that we? I know you wrote recently about some... Uh, some ways of looking at business decisions, whether to hire people or whether to, to contract for it, whether to buy or lease, whether to... whether Yeah, you, you know, that my feeling... Well, look, I did a very unofficial uh, survey of my newsletter readers, and I found that the respondents, oh, more than 80% a- admitted that taxes do influence their business decisions. And uh, it, does, it does impact whether you want to have employees or uh, use independent contractors or whether you want to buy a vehicle or lease it. And, and, and it's, I think it's important to keep taxes in mind. Of course, this, it's not the sole um, motivation, mm-hmm. but it's certainly a, a very big factor. Uh, w- with that said, I think when it comes to taking on more people, I, from pe- from business owners I've talked to across the country, they are so reluctant to add to their payroll, yep. not only because of um, uncertainty in the economy and not knowing what's going to happen with their revenues, but also concerns about the impact of Obamacare yep. and their responsibility for paying for um, health coverage. You know, Barbara, Any- the... the, the- you, people can say what they want about the merits of the election, about mandates or whatever, but there's one, in my opinion, one immutable truth that I think we're going to see, and that is that small business owners are that this that 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 the re-election of President Obama is going to have an impact on how small business owners make a decision, and it'll be those decisions will be based on helping that company survive whatever happens, and that will not be good for unemployment. No, I, I don't think so. I, because, I, you know, I, Barbara, I, 30 years ago when this happened, if, as a small business owner, we didn't have much choice. If we grew at all, we had to hire another employee. It's available. Lancers. Uh, independent contractors all around, and also you don't need necessarily in, in certain businesses as many bodies as you used That's to right. because, as you point out, technology can do a lot. Business owners do a lot for themselves now that they used to have other people do for them. Right, and and that's the changing face in, of of the marketplace. But but the the uh, if the economy doesn't pick up. 
soon. You're going to see, you know, it's it's going to. I'm just concerned about it, Barbara, because small business owners are, have, if they're still in business, they figured out a way to survive, and and any kind of any kind of growth expenses, whether it be for for uh, uh, capital expenditures or hiring, are going to be very judicious. Very judicious, and that has an impact on the economy as That's a right. whole. I mean, That's just right. think about. Let's think about this upcoming holiday season. Where in the past, many businesses used to uh, rent out halls and have holiday parties. Mm-hmm. Many businesses aren't going to do that. They're going to they're going to have uh, in house. Uh, more modest parties. Maybe they're not even going to be catered. You know, so so cater is an impact. Catering halls are impacted. And just think about that kind of. That's a small decision compared to the the day in and day out decisions that business owners make. And you just look at the impact on the economy as a whole. Yeah, and 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 a lot of and a lot of this is going to, especially you th- and you throw in the the fact that they don't know what their taxes are going to be. They don't know how to do tax planning right now. They don't know. There's so much up in the air right now with the, with the tax, this tax mageddon, obviously, that you were talking about, with a fiscal cliff coming up. How, how is that going to be solved? Is it going to be solved? And what's it going to look like if they're doing it in a hurry? Those kinds of things are not conducive to a recovery, are they? Uh, not at all. And, and and we'll be lucky if we don't slide into um, a, you know more serious economic uh situation than we already have. I mean, I, I can't see us moving ahead with this kind of um, uncertainty. And again, that was one of the responders to my survey, that the uncertainty was one of the key yep. um, issues for them. Yep, yep. Uh, Barbara, what's your website, please? My website, barbarawelthman.com. W-E-L-T-M-A-N. Check it out, folks. Quick break. Right back after these messages with Barbara Weltman. I'm Jim Blasting Game. Stay with me. Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., intended for the private use of our audience. Except as otherwise provided by copyright law, all other copying, redistribution, or publication without prior written consent is prohibited. All rights reserved.